Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. Guess what we're going to be working on today? Well, we're going to be working on a Sony 5 disc player. It holds 5 CDs, but it can only play 1 CD at a time. And this is also uh, 90's vintage technology. It still works today. But the issue is it's skipping CDs. Now, we're going to be cleaning the laser eye on the inside of the unit itself. I'm going to show you two ways you can clean it. And the one thing what's going on, if you have a brand new CD, this is now 51. I got this uh, for Christmas. And what was kind of strange, it was all scratched when I got it. Uh, for Christmas. I don't know why. And every time I put it in this CD player, all it does, it skips. And it was kind of very interesting. And that's what the CD looks like. And that's what the back looks like. It looks like it's no scratches on it, but it definitely has scratches on it. I can actually physically see the scratches on the disc itself. Now, you can also uh, clean these as well by using a warm soapy water or also a disc cleaner uh, solution and stuff on here as well. But I'm just going to end up probably taking my CD back to the store. I don't know why it's skipping. I think it's the issue could be with this player or the disc itself. But we're going to put that off to the side. But we're going to be taking it apart to get on the inside to clean the laser eye. Now, it's a couple ways you can do this. If you really want, you can buy yourself some 70% alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, and a couple uh, Q-tips. Here you can see, I have two. Wait, no. I'm only going to probably use one, but I have two in case. But the only way is to find this. This is a CD cleaner. This is also from the 90s as well. This is a good unit to a uh, good CD uh, cleaner to have, but it doesn't always work right. But we're going to go ahead and open this up and give this a more of a proper clean like I normally do to take it apart. But I hope I don't have to take it apart way too much to figure out where the laser eye is sitting because it can be quite tricky with these old vintage pieces of technology. Now, of course, make sure if you're going to be working on it, please make sure it is unplugged. Now, this is a used item. I bought this at a good oil store. You see, you got the plug right there. Put that off to the side. We're not going to need that. The only thing we're going to need to take out is these two Phillips screws. And you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to access the inside of the unit itself. Now, if this is like under warranty or anything, I don't recommend you take it apart and clean it. I don't recommend you do it the safe way and use the disc cleaner itself. And that would actually help uh, these units to last a little bit longer as well. Put the screwdriver and the screws off to the side. Now, this is a analog uh, unit. You can see it has a left and right output uh, line out to hook up to your stereo system. You pull this forwards, and you lift up, and you take the shell off. This is the metal shell. Put that right off to the side. Now, we have access to the internals of the player itself. You can see that? That's that. And you can see it's a pretty big player. By this player. Now, what we're after the most is what's underneath this wheel, under this holder, is the actual... Uh, eye itself, but you're also going to need your screwdriver again. We're going to need to take the uh, screw out again. Now, 
Now, do be careful. Make sure you are not touching your own components on the inside of the wolf. Make sure you don't damage it too much. We take the magnet stop. Well, now, again, you can adjust this to how you want this holding the CDs down on the little spindle model itself. I might actually do that. I might adjust that a little bit for the CDs is actually holding tightly against the uh, little spindle model here as well. But what I have to is right here. This little guy what I'm pointing at. That's the laser eye. Now, again, it's not going to be no replacement parts for these older units because they're very vintage and old. Now, if you're going to be using uh, alcohol, make sure you don't put a lot on. Just dip the Q-tip in the alcohol and just get it a swirl like that. And that's right there, that's perfect for the thing itself. And we're just going to go ahead and give this eye a little bit of a cleaning. Sometimes you get some dust on it or some debris or something like that can also uh, make these units skip. And if you want, you can also use compressed air to actually clean it out too. That's non -white. And I'm just going to blow on it. And there you go. And that is a simple way to clean your unit. Now, when you're done with the Q-tips, all you do is just throw them away in the trash, and voila, she is now clean, doesn't look like it's any oil or dirt on the unit, now this one's a lot more tricky to take apart because it's all kind of intertwined with each other, and I take this the whole way apart because it just is terrible to put back together. Now we're just going to put this guy back together like it was before. Tighten up the little screw, put the screw back in. And you can also leave it loose if you want, but make sure you don't leave it loose enough or it doesn't interrupt the display not working properly. Screw that all the way down. And sometimes that don't work, I'm gonna have to tighten it up or loosen it up a little bit. And now you put your uh, cowl back on. And your two Phillips screws back into the unit itself. Now, I do apologize, I'm not gonna test it uh, on my system because of audio, copyright, kind of stuff up. And this is a clean laser on the inside of my plow. Now, once you get that all nice and tight, swing it around, plug the unit in, and give it a little bit of test. simple and easy thing you can do. Put your CD in, and sometimes if you get a little bit of dust on the uh, lid, you can also take that off and blow it off with some compressed air again. Now, I'm just going to play it without any audio. Sometimes these can be quite fiddly. That's the story these units work. But, alright, that's how you can clean your CD player working again. If you are over on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Have a good day.